All right, so the punters came for this one in a big way. His name is General Jackson, number two on the card. He's a three-year-old son of Jackson. And the way he's opened up his account today, I think there's many more winners in the tank. Well done to Mr. Moon Sammy. Well done to Gary Alexander, Dean Alexander, and, of course, Luke Ferraris. Well done, Luke. I must say a, a very good ride from you once again. I know that um, it was pretty straightforward from a good draw, but um, you picked it up at the right time, and uh, I thought he won with, in style today. Thank you, yeah. Um, I think he's just been unlucky with the draws and things never went his way, but uh, he had the draw in his favour today and we definitely use it to our advantage and it's, it's definitely paid off. He is, you know, the way he wanted it, I think there definitely are more wins coming his way. Um, but yeah, I could just hope for the best. Luke, uh, you must have had confidence already when he cantered down to the start because I, I thought he moved beautifully. Yeah, definitely. He's got a lovely action on him. Um, so that, that, you know, that just added to the confidence and he had the one draw. Um, so yeah, everything just went according to plan and I'm just grateful that Mr. Uh, Mr. Alexander is giving the opportunity uh, to climb aboard him and to Mr. Moon Sammy, thank you. Well, that's it, because uh, you're taking it with both hands. Every opportunity that you get, we must just spare thoughts, of course, for Dennis Schwartz, but uh, you're taking the opportunities with both hands from big stables and it's paying off nicely. Yeah, it it's all comes down to support and uh, I'm just grateful that um, both Alexanders are, are giving me the support and opportunities um, and yeah, I'm just grateful that they're coming through. Now, Luke, uh, you've got a busy program, a few nice rides, uh, Al Mutawakal in the dance. Um, what are you expecting later on? Look, uh, yeah, look, Al Mutawakal's last run was definitely a disappointment. Um, I think he does have, he does have uh, some problems, but, uh, yeah, look, on his day, as we saw in the Summer Cup, you know, he, he did run a, run a cracker, so if he just finds that form again, he, you know, he does deserve his respect. Would the inside track be a bit of a concern? Yeah, look, he does take a bit of time to find his to find his uh, rhythm, but uh, when he does, he he can quicken. So, yeah, we we're going to it uh, with uh, open hands and just see what happens. In the dance, and uh, of course, Warriors Rest, uh, they seem to have decent chances. Um, in the dance, he's got the plum draw, so we'll definitely be using that. Um, and yeah, Warriors Rest, he he does have a wine draw to come uh, to overcome, but um, yeah, he's definitely putting up some decent work at home. So. Hoping for decent runs. Luke, if I could tie you down, I know it's not something that uh, the guys enjoy, but uh, if you had to choose your next best for the afternoon, which one would it be? Sure, it's 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 tough. I think I've got a, a decent book of, of rides today, so I'm just hoping for the best. Lovely stuff. Well done, Luke. Thanks. Another big thank you to my sponsors, haven't you? Thank Lovely you. stuff. Well done, Luke. Good to have you in the winner's box. Well done, Mr. Alexander. I know that um, he's a decent looking horse. I'm sure you would have expected to break the maiden a bit earlier on, but uh, he's been plagued with bad draws. Uh, it's unfortunately twice in his last two starts, very bad draws. But I thought uh, at least we cracked draw one and Luke handled him superbly. Um, he's really maturing into going to be a good jock in time. And of course, uh, Mr. Moon Sammy, good to see that you're getting the support from him because uh, he's had some nice horses along the way. Yeah, he's been a sole supporter of our yard. He's had a lot of horses. Nimcha won the other day, so it's nice to see you know, him getting the dividends from it. I've um, got to thank Linda Goliki at Connemara Stud for the superb bread horse. Mr. Alexander, later on, chimes. Um, no fault of Dennis Schwartz last time out. Probably went a little bit early, but he's got class about him. No, I think he's a big runner today. He's definitely got a shot. We've got Saragon also. She was a bit unlucky in her last start. Um, they, they're runners today, so we expect them to really be in the firing line. Well then, yeah, Mr. Alexander, I know that um, you guys uh, put your pockets or put your hands in your pockets when you go to the sales. Give them time to mature, and it's good to see that it's now paying off. Yeah, listen, we uh, give them the time. This is a bit immature still, this horse, but I think uh, the way he won today, there's a bright future for him. And also to Dennis, you know, a lot of people have been asking me on course how he's doing. He's doing very well at this stage. He'll be back soon, and thank God all's good. Lovely stuff. Well done, Mr. Alexander. Thanks a lot. Well done. Well done to Gary. Well done to Dean. Good to have them back in the number one box. Of course, they got the yard ticking along nicely. Horses are looking uh, superb. I must say, uh, General Jackson floated down to the start this afternoon. And, um, yeah, Golden Tunes run second. So if you uh, took the exactors in any order, I think it paid just over five bucks. Uh, certainly a good way to start. And even if you bank at General Jackson in the buy pots. Uh, so well done to everybody concerned. The punters have got the lot. As we walked onto the race course, uh, everybody came to tell me about General Jackson. And hopefully you've started the day off with a bang.